بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو آل آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو انالائز دی افیکٹ آف ڈائی میٹر آن پریشر ڈراپ بیوٹی فیشن سو وائی وی آر ڈوئنگ دس یو نو وی ہیو ون ایکسپریمنٹ پائپ فریکشن فلوئڈ فریکشن ان پائپس دا آبجیکٹیو از ٹو ڈٹرمائن دا پریشر ڈراپ ڈراپ اور پریشر لاس ڈیو ٹو فریکشن فار فلو پائپ فلو الانگ پائپ آف ڈفرینٹ ڈائی میٹرس سو دس از دا آئیڈیا ٹو انالائز دا افیکٹ آف ڈائی میٹر آن پریشر ڈراپ اینڈ یو ریمبر یو ڈیڈ اونلی ون ایکسپریمنٹ اونلی ون پائپ سو ایف یو لک ایٹ دا ایکوپمنٹ یو ہیو ہیئر دس از دا ون اینڈ یو پرفارم ایکسپریمنٹ only for this pipe this one and we cannot uh, if you look at this uh, setup we don't have this for the same length for different diameter we have this diameter but we can connect only at these two points in that case the length will differ and we can analyze the effect of diameter only we fix the length so now I have asked you in, uh, in the report requirement to analyze the effect of diameter using simulation. And with my experience, I, I see that uh, once this word comes, students become a little bit scared, uh, simulation part, how to do it. Uh, so I'm going to explain and the, how to do this one. effect of diameter can be st uh, studied theoretically so we are not going to do experiment we will do the same excel sheet you you are already done in the first part uh, you see the excel sheet here this calculations you will do anyhow to compare your experimental pressure drop with that theoretical pressure drop how you you do that this is your data volume and time time you calculate the uh, flow rate and then velocity using the flow rate divided by area and then the round number and using round number you get third f theoretical using a correlation which you will choose uh, from literature okay if you see here uh, this is the correlation used here And then, what do you do? You calculate the pressure drop uh, using the equation. That's the that's rate between pressure drop and friction factor. So here, the diameter is 0.0168. This is the first diameter. Now, we want to see the effect of diameter now. So what you have to do, if you see here, pressure drop is coupled with diameter here this is the diameter so what we can do we can just change the diameter here and we will get the pressure drop values for different flow rate so as advised these values are the diameter values in meter to see the effect So what you, you are supposed to do, just change this value, okay, so this is the uh, for 0.0168, this is your experimental uh, part, so this pressure drop, I can copy these values, copy, and then put it here. So this pressure drop is for, or uh, let us let me put it here. Sorry. Okay. So this is pressure drop for this this diameter. And now, what do you do? 
just change the diameter here and see the value changes and this is the uh, graph for delta p versus flow rate so this value changes what you can do you can just copy this this values and paste it here so this is the pressure drop versus this flow rate this flow rate at for this diameter and again you can change the diameter get the new values paste it here same thing repeated for the new value of diameter no uh, it should be 0.03 okay so this is so you, you now we have pressure drop versus flow rate for these diameters so if we look at this graph okay this is for the last one okay what I can do I can plot all of them together and y values is this one the x value is the flow rate okay what is the series name and the first one diameter equals 0 0.0168 meter not two one okay this one was for the last one 0 0.03 okay I want to show the legend. Legend is here, okay. Yep. So you can see these are the results for two different diameters. Uh, let me include for other diameters as well. So I select data, I add 0 0.02325. No, uh, this one first. Wait, yeah, this one not included. Okay, X is the flow rate, and then this is the diameter for 0 0.025. <coughs> okay, yep, and then one more diameter is remaining, and flow rate is this so this look at this figure delta p versus flow rate at different at uh, different diameters what was this Yes, uh, so we have uh, values delta P versus flow rate uh, uh, for diameter 0 0.02, uh, 0 0.03, and 0 0.168. We don't have for this one. So we will add this one as well. So let me add 0 0.025 and the flow rate. Okay. And Series name uh, diameters equal 0 0.025 meter. So here is your results. Now, what do you find? As we the diameter is increasing, the pressure drop is getting reduced does it make sense 
this is for the small uh, diameter then as diameter is getting reduced pressure drop due to friction is less and less so pressure drop is inversely proportional to the diameter of the pipe so how to interpret this yes it makes sense because at one see if you fix the flow rate here and see that the at different uh, diameters as the pressure drop as the diameter is decreasing pressure drop is increasing why at same flow rate different diameter means different area higher velocity higher the friction so now one of the task is to establish a relation between pressure drop delta p and diameter so how we can see that uh, relation means the metric, uh, mathematical relation so how exactly the delta p depends on diameter the function is power is is uh, is, is uh, polynomial or what so in that case we have to assume the flow rate constant we can take these values okay this is 4.0028 the flow rate this one at this flow rate okay so this is the first second third fourth fifth one okay let's see one two three four five so at this we can take these values all of them together okay and we can plot a graph okay uh, let us plot the graph for this values of pressure drop insert a graph here so just to make sure the y is this one okay the x will be the diameters so okay i'm going to move this away this is our main focus point now so this is the pressure drop this graph is basically pressure drop versus diameter this is the diameter so this c pressure drop is decreasing uh, with increase in diameter so how to establish the trend we know that in laminar flow pressure drop is proportional to d power minus 4 and we can look for something similar so if we uh, if we fit a trend line here you see we have linear we have polynomial we have power is power okay and look at the equation and r square here r square is 1 this is this theoretical work and then what I am getting here is x power minus 1 so this is in this case I am getting uh, inversely proportional to x uh, x x is the diameter so now this is all about establishing the this is procedure and you may get a different values for this uh, depending on the how correct is the experiment, experimental data this i have shown you how to do this analysis these results are based on these results are based on a student work so depending on the quality of raw data the the uh, the relation may differ okay uh, before i stop 
I want to uh, just quick uh, remark on this. See, this is the student work and I see the Renault number and reported as 3157 plus uh, 0.836. So what do you think? Does it make sense to report the Renault number up to four digit uh, or five digit? No. So what we can do here, just format this cell and number. How many digits we need? For Renault number, we don't need any. So yeah, this is good enough. And same for if you see uh, friction factor. There's too many uh, numbers, uh, digits. So up to, we can decide up to two, not two, three, four. Four makes sense. This makes sense. Okay. So that's it from, uh, 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 I hope uh, this is fine. So I hope you learn how to do this analysis and you can uh, apply this in your experiment uh, in the lab report.